Okay, guys, we're checking out. Sadly. Sadly. We're checking out right now. All of our bags are packed there. We've cleared the room of all of our mess. Yep. Um, and we are going to head to Disney Springs, but fun because we have a brunch reservation at Wine Bar George for 1230. We had to stop by Panchitos because I forgot. I want to collect something from every single hotel we stay at, like as a souvenir from every single staycation we get. And since I got a service tumbler from the last one, I obviously had to get one from this one. <laughs> so yeah, now we're headed to Disney Springs. We've literally got less than an hour to get there. It says the drive is 10 minutes and we have a reservation at 12.30 and it's 11.40 something right now. But we usually, like we don't cut it this close because we'll usually leave like right at checkout at 11. So I think we'll make it no problem, but it's just like a little bit stressful. Okay, we're gonna head to Disney Springs now and I'll catch you guys when we're there. Just one last glimpse of the good old, good old Grand Casino right there and all of your beauty. All right, that's all you guys get to see. We just made it to Disney Springs and the down escalator doesn't work. So I guess we're forced to exercise today. Um, it is currently 12, so I think we have more than enough time to get there. I'm excited. I kind of want to ask them for a patio, like terrace seating, but obviously it's really busy today, so if they don't have it, it's okay. Here we are. There's the balloon, which we will probably never do. There's Poopy Planet Hollywood. Never eat there. If you have it, it's not worth it. Don't do it. I wouldn't know. You don't want to eat there. It's disgusting. It's so expensive, and it's just, it's just literal not good at all. It's literally like McDonald's food. It's not even like quality fast food. Yeah. Okay, so we're in line for Gideon's because we got here a little bit too early and I stressed too much and we ran here and now we have some time. So we basically ran. I'm sweating. You can't tell. I'm shiny, shiny. <laughs> um, and so we're right now we're in line to get in, to get onto the virtual queue. Um, to then wait in the virtual queue for about three hours and then to come back to a physical line afterwards. Yeah, uh, but we're gonna probably be here that long, three hours, uh, probably like most likely. So yeah, honestly, so that's why we're like, we might as well just like have our name on a list and we'll do other stuff meanwhile. Yeah, and Wine Bar George is literally right there. And we kind of want to sit up here, but we'll see if there's anything available. So I also think that that's George. I feel like that's George. So we got an inside table. But it looks outside. So we get AC and a view. Alright, Joshua got the wake up. Wake up call? Wake up call. It's like a coffee wine, right? It's like espresso infused liquor and then it's got like espresso in it. Well, yeah. It tastes so good. You guys should try it if you like coffee. Yeah. And then I just got a Riesling. I don't remember exactly what it was called. Herman something. I'll put it right here. It's really good. All right, we got steak frites with an over easy egg. This looks amazing. And some mac and cheese bites. And we're gonna share these because we plan on eating lunch later today before we leave. They smell so good and look so good. So we're ready. Okay, so we finished at Wine Bar George. The food was so good. Honestly, that place never fails. The food was really good. The drinks were really good. Um, also, can we just note, we were seated by George himself. Yep, the master sommelier. The master sommelier seated us himself. Yeah, the owner of the restaurant. That was pretty cool. Pretty yeah, nice. he came over and he said, he, I mean, like he knew I was vlogging, so that's probably why. He could smell the vlogger inside of you. He, like he knew I had like 3 million subscribers. Naturally, that's, you know, the owner would come and see us. No, I'm just kidding. He was, he's, but he's so cool. Like on weekends, especially people see him all the time. He like comes out and will clean tables, serve people. Like 
if it's really busy, go get stuff. Like he was just walking back to his restaurant. He's and he's just so nice and easy to talk to. He's very friendly. Yeah, he's helping out the other waiters clean up tables. Yeah, so he's. Right. Yeah, I don't know how he is, of course, with his own staff, but uh, with his customers, he's very nice. So it was really cool to be seated by George himself. We're officially part of the George crew. We're the, <laughs> in the George family now. We oh, get so immediate discounts when we go now. We know George. Yeah. So. Just call him up if we get a reservation. You know? Exactly, exactly. So, yeah. Now we're headed to the Disney store, though. We're going to check out some merch, the 50th anniversary merch, and some other stuff. And, yeah. Um, if it's not too busy, I might show you guys some of it, but if it is, then I'll just tell you where we go next. <laughs> Ready? Oh no, the screens are out. <laughs> Pretty cool. Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished with the Disney store. We didn't really film because it was just crowds and crowds of people. But look what I bought. A cute Mickey Fab Five hat. And well, and then I also, Josh bought me some mini ears with the Mickey hands like this. I'll show you guys later. And obviously I had to get a Starbucks ceramic cup thing that I looked for last time I couldn't find. So that was nice that I was able to find it this time. Now we're gonna try to get into the Lego store. Look at the Star Wars. So interesting. Look at the Star Wars one. Yeah. The NASA shuttle is cool. Oh, it opens. <laughs> it's even got laces. That's awesome. The deep low ones are the little ones. I need a Mickey one. Those are cute. Oh, look at the little dogs. Oh, look at the Batman one. Okay, let's go look for got the Batman head. We got Honey Dukes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like the different cars. It's an RC? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, I think it's an RC. Oh my god. It's Look at that. And it's all moving. Yeah. It's the same. These are like the flower ones. It's honestly kind of cool. Yeah, they're very cool. The flower one is so pretty. This one with the little butterflies yeah. on it. All right, let's see who you are. We're gonna scan and find out what she gets. <laughs> yep, you're a joker. That's true. <laughs> This is like a who are you. You scan your hand and it tells you which Lego character you are. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of bug that is. That's one of the superheroes or villains. It looks like one. Fly man or man man? Maybe. I have no idea. Interesting. <laughs> All right, we picked, we picked some stuff. So we're gonna go check out right now. And then we're gonna try to head over to the pin trading store because that one seems really cool and Josh collects pins. So we definitely wanna check that out. All right, well, we came to this 
Star Wars Trading Outpost, but it wasn't the Trading Outpost. It was the Black po Black Outpost. No, this is the Galactic Outpost. Galactic Outpost. Outpost. Yeah. So we went to the other side of Disney by accident. Yeah. Um, but Gideon's just texted us, so we're gonna head over to Gideon's first, and then by the end of the day, we'll have nice smushy melted cookies. I need more more coffee after job. <laughs> So we're in line for Gideon's right now. We got in at 2.57 in the line, so we'll let you know what time we actually get inside. Hopefully it's not too long. <laughs> Inside, it smells so good in here. Like, <laughs> so good. Here, here's the menu. Like, I don't know how you're saying why it has to smell so amazing in here. It's a weird smell. It's a pistachio and chocolate. Triple chocolate. All right, guys, we grabbed Gideon's. It literally took 30 minutes of standing in line and getting the cookies. Yeah. So, well, we got out at like 325. Oh, yeah, I was almost right here. So, it was like 30 minutes. But now we're gonna head to the pin trading place finally. And then afterwards, we're gonna head into Homecoming and hopefully they have some spots available for us to eat. Honestly, the longer we can procrastinate going home, the better. <laughs> <laughs> also, just FYI, Rainforest Cafe, huge advertisement. They look amazing. The volcano erupts. It's a terrible restaurant. Don't eat there. It's a waste of your money. Go to T Rex instead. T Rex is so much better. Yeah, okay. So we came into Goofy's Candy Company because my brother loves candy. So I'm going to try to find some like fun candy for him, but I think there's chocolates over here. Salad gummies. Mini unicorn pops. What is that? Sour gummy worms. What are mini unicorn pops? Oh, I see. He loves sour. So maybe I'll get him some sour gummies or sour character gummies. One or the other. Maybe the sour character gummies because it's like Disney. Oh, sour balls. Maybe he might like that. I don't know. He might like this. He'll eat this in one sitting though. <laughs> oh, they've got jelly beans. Oh yeah, I see. Oh, look how cute these uh, Halloween ones are. Ooh, pumpkin, pumpkin spi spice frosted pretzels. Uh, okay. Oh, these are cute little buckets. Oh, they've got popcorn too. Oh, these are the Wonka Ruts. Has anyone had these when they were a kid? Yeah. Aren't they so good? The bananas were my favorite. No, actually, you know which ones are my favorite? The, the orange ones. Which ones were your favorite? Do you remember? Oh, the candy. Oh, yeah, this. The candy. Like, oh, those are so cool. Oh, look. <laughs> That's fun. Oh my gosh, look at this. We've got popcorn and pretzels. Oh my god, so many. I think there's like frosting underneath them. Something so to give it like structure. So that's not an actual amount of sprinkles. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one is neat. Oh, you can see the glue, but it's still cool. 
You get all these apple. I wish I could have apples. I feel like those are really yummy. Oh, look. Do they really? Yeah. Is it that hard? Yeah. Those are cool too. I really love this Lego brick one. Mm -hmm. Those are cool. Alright, I bought my brother the sour characters. And now, oh yeah, I'm dumb. Every, Every time. Um, we might go into the Christmas store, but let's look for the pin store first. These are so cute. In case you didn't realize, we're at the pin. I've shown these on my Instagram on my stories. These Halloween ones are pretty neat though. Oh, and I like this one a lot. Yeah, it's really pretty. Oh, and this, like, nerd one. <laughs> oh, look at this Steve O'Boo one. Or that one. Oh, this one's fun, too. Oh, that one's cute. This one's cute. You see any like? Oh, oh this one's fun. Yeah, I like that one, yeah. Oh, the balls, like. Oh, is it 3D? It's like rubbery. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's cute. No, no. Yeah, I got it. The Dalmatian one's really cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at baby Moana. And the lion, this one is cool. I like this one. Oh, Facilier. <gasps> look at Pascal. There's one left. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh wow, they have so many. The 2020 stuff was so much better than the 2019. Yeah, I don't really understand the color scheme. I don't I think it's just supposed to be like primary colors, but I don't love them. I'm excited for them to be done with. 
I need to move on to the new thing. Maybe they should just hire me. A lot of people didn't like the 2021 stuff. I know what other people like. Oh, that one is fun. That one is really cool. Like a Christmas on the mansion one. I like it. Get it. Isn't that fun that he's popping through the screen in color? Yeah, that is cool. Oh, I love that one. Look at these, look at it's like ham, but on a cookie. Oh, like he's based on a cookie. Yeah, more. Oh look, this is good. You didn't get toy story. I want it real soon. You want They got a Mickey one too. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> that one is so funny. Alright, we finished at the Christmas store and it was really intense. So now we're going into Disney Trend. Uh -huh. These? It goes on the front. Interesting. So, like. Okay. When you hug. It's just, it looks weird. When you hug I someone, see someone, you skirt them. Stuff. Hold me back. Look. Stop. What are these? Oh. Um, <laughs> it's a true toy, okay? It's a monorail. It's pretty funny. Right? Finesse would love this. You tear it apart, too. Oh, that's, oh, he no, he would tear, he would untie this. <laughs> It's very skilled. He doesn't like balls, but these balls are cute. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm sorry. What? What? Yeah, that's hilarious. Oh wait, they've got little grippies on the feet. Oh, so <laughs> oh, they got candles and stuff too. should test the signature touch. We're gonna just be trying a bunch of candles, so Maybe nothing Bruce. for you to see here. Oh my God, why is this shirt $70? Doesn't matter, because I can't even pronounce the price. But it's so cute. All right guys, we just got a reservation or a return time, kind of, for homecoming. So excited, because I think you're gonna love it. Hopefully. I know, I've never eaten there either, but I just heard it's a bunch of fried chicken and that sounds amazing. My favorite. Exactly. So now we're just gonna walk around for like 30 minutes until they text us that they're ready. So we got a table at Artsmith's Homecoming and look at our view. It's so pretty and it was just pouring and now it's not even raining just as we get inside. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> um, but if it starts raining again, we can laugh at all the people from inside here while we eat our fried chicken. <laughs> so I got the Florida Crush. I think it has like flowers or something. I don't know. You got the apple pie. Yeah, apple pie. I love those. Yeah, it sounds yummy. Let's try this taste. Literally, like an apple pie in liquid form. Yeah, liquid apple pie, exactly. It's, and this one tastes like a like orange juice, but with other fruits. It's really good. All right, got the thigh hot chicken biscuits. Are you excited? I am. They look really good. Oh my god, they look so good. Alright, All right, I got the pork. Look at this. Look at my hand. Look at the size of my hand compared to this mac and cheese right here and the pork mouth. And look at his fried chicken. <laughs> fried chicken mouth. So good. Alrighty guys, it's kind of dark because we're in the parking garage, but... We finished at Chef Artsmith's homecoming and we are so full. So now we're basically just gonna drive home. <laughs> if anything happens on the way home, I'll let you know. <laughs> but we're just gonna be driving, so nothing spectacular. Maybe we'll see a beautiful sunset. Maybe, hopefully. Maybe. All right, let's just look on the way home. Good morning, guys. All right, well, it's the next day. Um, I just got back last night and I didn't continue filming because uh, I was really tired. Also, like, someone like across the lake is mowing their lawn extremely loudly. So I'm so sorry for that. 
anyways um we had gone back we got home safely but i really wanted to show you guys a quick like a uh, haul of everything that i got right before i end this video first thing that i got were these cute ears um so josh actually bought these for me um i've been kind of eyeing these for for a little bit and i love them so much because they can go with like so many colors like even this like sweater and like look at how funny they are they're just like so funny and look they even shake <laughs> the headband is pretty loose i'm not gonna lie so on rides i think i would have to like hold it because i think it would definitely slip off but it's nice that it's not super tight next i got this hat this hat has to be new because i haven't seen it but like hello look at how cute this hat is it's got the fab five on there it's just it's so cute it's like a jean hat and i even went when we went to homecoming the manager came and said hi to us and complimented me on the hat and was like is this from disney and i was like yeah they, i think they just came out with it so it's really cute so don't walk run if you see this hat online or in the store because it is just super cute i mean look run run like the fab five run like the fab five because it is literally so stinking cute the next thing i got only had animal kingdom and hollywood studios no they only had epcot and hollywood studios um but i think they stopped selling them because they were updating them to a new design uh because they have to update them for star wars for for toy story land for epcot they added uh ratatouille ride so like they were updating i think the design so that's why they stopped selling them for a while but i had to snatch one because last time they sold out so fast so i got the hollywood studios one it's like um it's just like one of these honestly the lid for these isn't the best like no the lid is fine you kind of like turn it and you can drink from here the lid is fine it's just you have to be careful not to like go like that because all of your coffee or whatever you have inside here will spill out but, so it has like the coffee drink thing here, which, and like the huge Starbucks logo, which I don't really care about. I just really wanted this. So it's got the Tower of Terror. It's got Fanta Fantasmic, Fantasmic Rock and Roller Coaster. Then it says Disney's Hollywood Studios. It's got Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which I feel like the last ones might have not had that. It's got the cute robot from the bar. It's got the alien swirling saucers and it doesn't have rise of the resistance but it does have millennium falcon um so that's good enough for me so josh collects pins not avidly or a bunch but he does collect pins so we went into the pin tr in the into the pin trading store at disney springs and then i found this one that i actually really loved so i got this one it's like mickey and it's like a little toucan or a bird and he's like an adventure mickey i just think that one's so cute so i don't really collect pins but if i see one that i really like uh, i'll purchase it and then kind of stick it on a backpack or something so that's everything that i purchased um kind of just to wrap up these vlogs i just want to say that i had such a good time friday evening i did get very sick but i already explained that in the previous vlog um but beside that one time the rest of it was all super fun coronado springs is a beautiful hotel to stay at the pool was so fun and cool i wish we could have went more days but i'm happy we were we were able to even go one day and i'm glad we were able to go on the slide it was really fun and the food was good it was fun to kind of like travel around just with bus like disney transportation is so good and the whole trip was very relaxing we both pretty much got our sleep every single night we didn't um have to wake up super early so that was really nice we kind of you know utilized the whole staycation to get our sleep we played games we had food it was all just really fun the hotel room was also very big and very nice it definitely surpassed my ex my expectations so yeah the the whole staycation was just a dream and i'm so excited to uh continue going on these staycations and i'm super excited for what's to come ahead and i hope you guys stick along after these vlogs to kind of follow us on what we do and where we go next 
thank you so much for watching this vlog and if you've watched any of the previous ones thank you for you know coming along and watching and i hope you had a good time and i hope it's not too choppy i haven't edited it yet so we'll see but thank you so much again and i'll see you guys next time Bye.